Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. I just finished an on the water demonstration of how stable this kayak is. Anyway, you guys notice anything different today in the kayak? Oh yeah, we got us a net. Compliments of a subscriber, Jason. Jason, thanks buddy, I appreciate it. Yeah, he contacted me, he said, JC, I got an extra net, man, I'd love to send it to you. So we got connected, he sent me the net, and now I won't be losing them big old sheep's head just falling off right next to the kayak and breaking the hooks and all that kind of stuff. All right, well, listen guys, we are going to be doing some sheep's head fishing today. I've got some crank of crab lures and we're also gonna see if we can't get on a big fish with some live bait somewhere around here. It's an incoming tide for the next few hours. So let's get on it right now. I'm gonna start out with the crank of crab for some sheep's head. I wanna give it a shot right here. See if we can't find us a hungry sheep's head. And that, oh dang, whoa. As soon as it, as soon as it dropped down there, I got a hit. The current is ripping through there, man. Now what that was all about? Oh, here we go, here we go. That's a good one. Oh man, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. What the heck? Are you kidding? First cast, I got a hit. Second cast, I got a grouper. <laughs> all right, baby. Wow. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to fish this. The current just keeps wanting to push me into the pilings. I don't wanna scratch the kayak off all up today. Making a quick move. I'm gonna head over to the bridge. The tide's coming this way. There'll be a little eddy area on the back side of the bridge tender's wall right there. And uh, maybe we can drop down, see if we can get some sheep's head over there, some grouper or, or something in that area. Well, nothing happening on the crank of crab here. All right, guys, I'm giving up on the sheep's head here. It just, it ain't happening. It ain't working. I'm gonna go ahead and get the cast net out here. I'm over here on the flat. Yeah, we got a pinfish on that one. Got a couple of them in there. Two, three, I think we got three of them. Follow the birds, man. Wherever the birds are hanging out, that's where the bait's at. Good sized little baits right there. I think we got four, four pinfish. Yeah, four or five, so let's go fishing. All right, I decided I'm gonna wade over there and fish. I got the kayak leashed off here. I'm still one number away. Pinfish is getting really feisty, man. He is swimming like crazy right now. I don't know if we're getting a hit right now. That's my bait. Yeah, we're getting a hit. We're getting a hit. There he is. There we go. All right. Trout, baby. Nice trout. Not the snook I was looking. Oh, no. He's got the pinfish all the way in his gut. Oh, no. No. Look. He's already got the pinfish all the way in his belly. It's all, it's all the way in there. Darn it. All right, well, we're gonna have to just cut the line. My goodness, so you look at his belly. Wow, he just scarfed that thing down. All right, little guy, I hope you swim off. I hope you make it. You're not looking like you're going to. Got a big old fat belly. Come on, swim off. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Go free. Well, he's swimming upright. He's on the bottom. He's just cruising over there by the mangrove. So, all right, got us a trout. I was not expecting that little guy to eat that entire pinfish. I, I kept feeling on like, it kind of feels like my pinfish, but it doesn't feel like my pinfish. And then, and then he pulled really hard, and I'm like, my pinfish couldn't pull that hard. Oh my gosh, he must have been so hungry to eat that pinfish, man. Wow. So you guys, I I freeze jugs of water, and uh, I use them instead of buying ice at the store. I use these jugs of water as ice, but I also bring them out here as drinks. So the sun heats them up. They melt down and I got ice cold water when I'm out here. I mean, I know that's that's like 
nothing brilliant about that <laughs> right nothing at all brilliant about that but I'm just telling you what works for me and it works I wonder if there's another one up there I wonder let's find out I love when you first put a pinfish on them man. they just brrr, a lot of action going on it's the way the snook like them too super lively I know y'all think I'm crazy for fishing in open water for snook but I'm telling you I saw four big snook right over there the other day when I was out here I ain't I ain't lying man they were good sized snook yep something's getting on him something's getting on him right here yep that's a hit oh I missed him no, I didn't. There he is. There we go. We got him. We got him. Whoa, he's coming to me. There we go. There we go. Would you look at that freaking trout now? Would you look at that trout? Nice. Oh, he got off. There he goes. <laughs> All right. Crazy how things work, right? Come out here to try and catch a snook and end up finding a little trout hole. <laughs> that was a good sized trout. He's probably 16, 17 inches, man. All right, I don't know how many pinfish I've got left. I think I got three or four. One or two. Oh no. I have two pinfish left. Let's see what we can do here. I'm hooking my pinfish right back there close to the tail, the back of the dorsal fin. Hey, hey, let me give you a quick tip here. All right, got my little pinfish here. So the area that I was fishing, there was probably four to six feet deep. There was a grass flat edge and it was dropping off over there where I was casting it. And those fish were hanging out around that drop off area. But a pinfish, you guys naturally wants to swim to the bottom when you hook him on there. So the reason I was hooking that pinfish in the back of the tail, I don't know if you've ever seen a pinfish on the flats. When they feed, they get down in that grass and they, they're, they're on an angle usually and they're just flashing all around when they're down there in that grass. So by hooking that pinfish in the tail, when he would swim down there to the bottom, if I would pull back on my rod, well that would cause him to pull up in an angle as if he were feeding, right? And I wouldn't pull up much. I would just kind of pull him up just a little bit, just kind of, you know, just two inches. Just pull him up two inches and make him flash back down to the bottom. And so what he was doing you know, I kept doing that every now and then. I would just pull back and, and kept him flashing like that. Either made him look like he was feeding or he was an injured pinfish. And so that kind of keeps him over there in that strike zone because as, you know, I would get him over in the strike zone, right? Boom. But as I'm pulling him back, as I'm pulling him back with the hook, you know, naturally he wants to struggle back forward. So as I get him over in that area where the fish are at and I'm pulling him back, he's basically just swimming back down in that same area every time I pull him up or he might swim off to the side or whatever <laughs> but yeah and so here's another thing when I'm out there on the flats and I'm throwing a cast net and I want to get pinfish right I didn't have any chum so what I was doing I was just letting the kayak drift across the flats and I was looking for these little pods of pinfish they'll be down there just buried in the grass like I'm saying just flashing all around and you'll see them and you just Throw the cast net on them. All right, let's get back on it. Last pinfish. See if we got another trout over there. If I catch another trout or I get another hit, I'm gonna cast net some more pinfish. That's a hit. He's right here in front of me. There he is. There we go. Oh, I lost him. That was a definite hit. That was a definite hit. Oh yeah, he chewed my pinfish all up. Pinfish are still kicking. Boys, we got fish over here, man. I'm excited about this. We got fish over here. Heck yeah. My pinfish got really lively. And I kept reeling in, and I'm reeling in slack, reeling in slack, reeling in slack. I'm like, what is going on? He was, the fish was right here in front of me. I think we got us a little trout hole. Oh my God. Oh my God, he hit that thing hard. That's not a trout. That's like a jack or a ladyfish. It's probably a jack. Oh man, he hit that thing like full blood. Oh my God, it's a big trout. Is it a big trout? What is it? Oh my God, look at the size. Oh, he snapped. He's, he's foul hooked. He's foul hooked. Hey, 
bait. No, he's not. Oh, look at the size of that trout, man. Woo! Dang, boy. Wow. Got us a trout hole, baby. The trout bite is on, baby. Heck yeah, that is a big old trout, man. What a freaking awesome surprise, man. These fish are just gorgeous. All right. Just got some more, a couple more pinfish there on the first throw. Here we go. Let's get another one. Let's get another one. Well, the way that last trout hit makes me think there's a bunch of them up in there. And he hit it and just took off with it. There he is. Oh man, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, he slammed that thing. This is another good one, man. Another really nice fish. Wow. Another good one. Oh my God. What is it? A flounder? Oh, guys, a big flounder. Wow. Nice. <laughs> All right. Nice flounder. Nice, 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 baby. Nice little flat boy. Things all, all count camouflage to fit in on the bottom. Nice. I was starting to get discouraged a little while ago. I'm like, I'm not gonna catch a fish, another wasted fishing trip. Guys, the other day I fished six hours in the morning, took a break, went home, had lunch, came back and fished four more hours all day. I caught one sea robin, one lizard fish, and three channel catfish. Terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> This is really exciting, you guys. I mean, I was getting discouraged. I'm like, oh man, I'm not gonna catch anything today. And all of a sudden, isn't that the way it works? Just boom, it turns around, you're catching trout and flounder. Got a nice little hole there. Heck yeah. Whew. All right, let's get back on. Trout candy, baby. Trout candy. There he is, there he is, there he is. There he is. Oh, he nailed that pin fish. Oh, he wanted that pin fish. Oh, another good fish, man. Another good fish. Another good one. Oh, another big trout. Another big trout. Another nice trout, Ed. Hey! <laughs> awesome. Look at the size of that trout. Nice. All right. See you, buddy. Yeah. Now I. I have to cast net warp pit fish, right? I have to. 